Ajax tonight, Joe, on his home turf. Um, do they have a great addition? And I'm sure the pressure will be on them to win it as well. Here's Del Piero, Luca Toni, who joined Fiorentina, of course, in summer of 2005 and plays here on his home patch. Desperate to prove he is Germany's number one over it. Looking for a good delivery, gets one as well, and it's in! Inside the first four minutes, and it's Alberto Gillette. But Italy, they've got, I wouldn't say open up, but they have certainly got to get at them. Lin Mann, called up in 2002 by Rudy Voller, having only played in two Bundesliga matches Ooh. from this sort of position in the fourth minute. What can they do here in the 13th? Giladino, Tony, De Rossi, all looking to make runs here. And on this experience. De Rossi, Del Piero tries to tee it up. There's a wry smile on the face. He wouldn't be smiling like that if it was there for Giardino and also Tony are trying to prove that at international level. And the, the German too. The question will be asked of them as well. He'll come back from the USA and then you know devote his time here. But I think if you if you leave it open like that, you're you're really going to be crazy. He'll grow in a little bit more confidence as well, because those are nasty injuries, aren't they? Here's Italy on the attack. Just the sort of pass that will be troubling Klinsmann, and I'm sure will be at the top of his list in the halftime team talk. It's sloppy to give possession to Del Piero, who has a little stamp from out wide. He thought he maybe should have Piero. It's a great possession for Del Piero to be into, you know. I mean, he's predominantly right foot to be. He's into Milan, what goes with playing with a massive club like Milan, and he's done it in his straight. Of South France with a spelly head in Spain. But when you mentioned Del Piero yeah. defence, Scotland, Scotland did defend well, and it, it needed something to open it up, and Del Piero on the night was the man. They played brilliantly in that day, Scotland, actually, to be fair. They did. Gonzalez, the referee, was right. What do they have a book in that? First yellow card of the game. We've had our first two goals of the game. Could it be goal number three as Cameron Aze steals in? Yeah, easy forward. There's Tony. Options left and right. It's Del Piero to the left. Here is Del Piero. What sort of ball has he got here? It's too close to Philippe Lahm. In a number of sense, I mean, he's, he's a, a massive figure. You know, he's got that. Giardino and Tony. In the fourth and seven minutes. Yeah. A fantastic. Uh, Competition, a little bit of depth, which is most important. What a ball this is for Luca Toni. Italy still looking for goal number three. And he's just slid it into his path, it's just gone slightly wide, and he's trying to take it in. Friedrich. Nice right muscle. Not there, he uses a bit too much strength. Here's Del Piero. Friedrich comes. He's blocked down and away. And Italy will clear. You need that sort of player, though, with the way Frank Lampard is playing. That was the big question among some Chelsea fans I was speaking to. Forward by Pirlo. Giardino with the effort, and in! Del Piero for four! And this is in danger of becoming a devastating defeat for Germany. But for Italy, what a confidence builder this is. 4-0 up. And we're not even midway through the second half here. Disaster for Jurgen Klinsmann, surely. The pressure will be growing on him as a result of this, but Del Piero gets in on the act. Well, the cross is it's allowed to be put in. It, it was coming out of it. So they're not exactly flying at the moment in terms of form, but for me, Joe, it's, 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 it's dreadful, but it's a performance overall. You know, it, it doesn't lie. Uh, the performance... It has not been good enough. I think the defending... Many of these players in this squad, young players, many of them playing their football in Germany, if not all of them, are Robert Huth. I just wonder if that has anything to do with... There isn't. That is the full-time whistle in Florence. Giladino, Tony.